they said at first it was a heart problem. Then they said it was a liver problem. So they started doing, uh, they asked me if I drank, and I said, no, I don't drink. I said, I very seldom drink. And they said, well, you can get cirrhosis of the liver from lots of different things. And I said, cirrhosis? I said, the girl next door to us died of cirrhosis of the liver. Is it contagious? We knew I had a fast heart rate until that time that I was visiting uh, Mrs. Murawski in the hospital, and I fainted. And they said I had a real fast heart pulse and that, and they put me on the heart rate pill. And uh, I did fine for four and a half years. I did just fine on just the pill. And then one day I got up and my vein was kind of swollen up here in my neck and sticking out. And it got really big and I said, what nurse is that? And uh, they said, well, that's because of the heart and the heart valve. So that's how, how come I know they ain't going to go too far with this. And they said they can operate because the surgery was way too long for somebody in my condition. So anyway, they said I had a bad valve that isn't functioning. And since I wasn't 18, they could fix it. But since I'm not 18, they can't fix it. Because I have other health issues with the liver and fluid in the liver and the high heat of hernia and the, the um, lupus pageant disease. And I'll be 75, so I don't expect to have a miracle, you know, and I said, what do you want me to live till I'm 100? I said, there's no way, nobody in my family came close to 100. Of course, you never know, but I don't think so. So, um, I just said, so I just take every day as it comes, and I get up and see the sunshine, and I'm not feeling too bad.